All right. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The moment where we make one of the ultimate forms for Osama Sentai King Oja, and that is... Legendary King Oja. It's not there. <laughs> why is it not there? I don't understand why is it not there. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to do a review in combination, combining for Legend King Oja. Now, when you're first making the form, you want to make sure that you have all of these. So you have the main Zord, God Kabuto, God Hopper, and God Scorpion. You're not going to be needing Guardian Snail or Guardian Rolling. You're just going to need God Kabuto, God Hopper, and God Scorpion. The reason why I, you're not going to need any of the Guardian weapons, you're just going to need all of the Shogods or Auxiliary Shogods. So, first up, we're going to start with God Kabuto, then Hop, then Scorpion, and then Hopper will be the last one. We're combining it into... Now, we're going to start with Hopper, and then we're going to go Gup, Kabuto, and Scorpion. So, here we go. Alright, for starters, you want to make sure that God Kabuto is in Canon Kabuto. Mode, you want to also make sure that the scorpion, god scorpion is in his claw formation. You also want to make sure that hopper is kind of torn apart. Split open if you want. Remove ten, we remove both ten toes. And of course, keep the sword off to the side. So since we're starting off with god. Kabuto, you're going to pretty much attach it to the main Zord, just like in the spider area. So if you want to make things easier on yourself, you can remove uh, God, God Kumo Silver and not God Kumo Red. And then just make sure that it is secure like that. Then place them back. Making sure every connection is good. Once you do that, put the knee joints in the same spot. Just like that, with the wasp one being kind of careful. Next, we'll take God Kabuto up, so make sure that your arm is pretty much out. And the legs for the main load are extended. Bring that forward, clip this out, and make sure that one of God Tentos are right attached to here. Doesn't matter which one you grab, they're both going to be attached there. Bring the leg forward, attach it to the arm like so. Bring this forward as well. Next, take Scorpion here. Doesn't matter how pretty or Size it is. Attach this tento on the front two, not the back two. Just like that. Bend your fist a bit, or arm a bit, and then bring your fist around so it looks like that. Then, like that, my arm's kind of extended so that way I don't move anything, and then kind of. Make it grab hold of the fist, like so. There we 
go. And then you can put this, you put this forward on the back. Ta da Legend King Olja. <laughs> oh, this thing is a huge beast. Um, as you can see, I can't really, I don't really want to like superpose it because of how large and kind of flimsy this is. But as you can see, it is pretty huge. This is going to be the basis for every Zord combination later on. So when I get to all the other Zord combinations, I will make sure that this is the frontline man for the job. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, it's just huge. But on the bright side, every ranger is here and every ranger is used. And every insect, like the sub-gods being sub-god and sub-god. Kumo and sub-god and sub-god Tento are all used here. So the Tentos are here, ants in the back with the sword, and then of course the two Kumos are right there. <laughs> this is huge. Even if they didn't have the Zord and they didn't have Ant, Ant would still be used in this combination. But it is still huge. Oh my goodness. And it's just going to get bigger after this. But that'll be when I introduce another Zord. But that'll be later. Like... Oh, this thing is so huge. I wish I could pose it without it either falling on me or something falling apart. Like even the wings... And like all the legs are a struggle. <laughs> I'm serious, it's a struggle. If you if you're trying to put this together and you're trying to pose it, be careful. It is a struggle. I can probably like turn it and move the head, but I have to be very careful and it's gonna take some time to pose it. It's ridiculous. But anyway, this is Legend King Oja. And there is my small review for Legend King Oja. Oh, I like the fact that there's so much die cast on here. Like, like even though it's like a small amount, I haven't seen die cast in a Zord for a while because it is a little like it. It is a kind of expensive material. I don't know if this is true die cast or if it's like plastic or something because die cast is completely metal. But it is nice to see like a shining gold kind of be everywhere. I think my arm is... No, my... No, the cannon's straight. Sometimes the cannon's not straight for me. But this is Legend King Oja. So the next one is probably going to be... I'm sorry. It's just so huge and so cool. You have no idea how cool this sword really is. And it's only going to get cooler from here. I'm just missing one component. Just one. Well, two if we count the uh, upcoming release. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it was just me kind of combining, but I'm also like doing a tiny review of it. Because again, this is huge. It's a very huge, huge thing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.